Hi everybody, thank you for watching today. So this time I thought I would show you how I organise my scraps. It's something that I see come up a lot on the different kind of Facebook groups, crafting groups, and it's something that I have tried many different ways. So I've had them in drawers before. The drawers, it all starts well, you know, you have it all organised, but before you know it, it's overflowing and you can't really see all of the things that you have, you're searching through it. I've had it in files, um, zip files, so you know, they're all kind of bound together. Again, it starts to get too full. Some of the actual pockets end up splitting because they can't take the pressure. So this is the one that I've now got in place and I've had this set up now for about two years and it's my favourite. It works the best and considering this is my most well, I guess, visited spot in my craft room, I needed something, you know, that's going to work well. I, when I sit down to start a project and I decide on the colours, the first thing I go to is this scrap. I do also have some scraps for my pattern paper and I'll show you that in a moment. But this is just all the plain paper. And I think it works for me, it works really well. Again, as with all of the videos that I'm doing for this How I Organise series, I appreciate not everybody has the space. These are metal file holders that I got from Ikea. I did used to have card cardboard ones and ones that I'd made. However, because I'm pulling this out every day, multiple times a day, I found that this started to bow and just started to get a bit tatty so I wanted something that was stronger and that's why I chose these ones. I may well decorate the front of these as well at some point but for now it's fine and I've got them obviously I'm very visual so they're all displayed nicely and these each pocket has a side open like that so you can really kind of fill them and then when they get so full I can just go to that particular pocket and take out you know any maybe very small pieces that I don't need. This is just a two inch circle punch. I just punched it twice and just stuck them on the sides there with a little bit of double sided tape. And it works really well for me. So this fits within, the three of these fit within one of the cubes on the four cube slimline Kallax again, which is from Ikea. On the side here, these are just some templates that you've seen me use when I've made card designs and stuff. So they're just there. I have another folder as well with more of those in. These I picked up packs of the plastic pockets from Amazon. Again, I will link those in the description box below. And you can pick up so many different designs of these. There's some nice metal ones with mesh detail. And if you are just starting off, you know, the strong card stock ones are good and they will last you some time. And if you like to make your own and decorate, then there's tutorials to do that, as, you know, online. But um, like I said, this is my forever kind of setup now. I, I can't see myself really changing how I organise my scraps because this one just works so well for me. So that's all the plain and I'll briefly just show you the pattern paper. So this is the pattern paper. Again, it's in the same metal files and I have these ones actually away in a cupboard because I don't tend to go to these as much. So it's more if I am working on that particular pattern paper pack then rather than pull the fresh papers from the pack I will go to the scraps first. Now I don't have these labelled on the side because I can I can see pretty well what it is. Lots of you will be familiar this one here is the Dovecraft Secret Garden so if I'm working on that or I want to use that I take this first. You can see I've got some quite big pieces there and then again I've got some kind of mixed ones there. I've got underwater theme. This one here is from Forever Free, I believe it was. That's another Dovecraft. Birthday Wishes, I think that one is. And then I've got some scrapbooking stuff. And then it just kind of keeps working its way through. And I've got another one there. That's the Gardenia one by First Edition. But like I said, I've got three of these. And once I start to get down to them, the real tiny bits, then I will probably put them in a little bag and I will give them to a local charity or to a school and they can use them within their crafting. So there you go, just a quick video showing you how I organise my scraps. I will link as much as I can in the description box below. I hope this gives you some inspiration on ways that you may want to try organising yours. And I'll be back again very soon with another How I Organise. Thanks for watching. Bye.